Shalom, Chavarim. The night of September 15th, 2021, and the day of September 16th are observed by traditional Jews as Yom Kippur. It is a time for prayer and fasting. And boy, does our world need that now. The Kol Nidre prayer is a solemn moment in the synagogue service where we renounce any oaths that we may make to Yahweh in the upcoming year. All personal vows we are likely to make, all personal oaths and pledges we are likely to take between this Yom Kippur and the next Yom Kippur, we publicly renounce. Let them all be relinquished and abandoned, null and void, neither firm nor established, let our personal vows, pledges, and oaths be considered neither vows, nor pledges, nor oaths. And this is for any vows or oaths between us and Yahweh. And it refers to the small things we might say, like uh, say promising something to Yahweh and not fulfilling it. That's a vow came out of our mouth that... Uh, it, we are now renouncing in advance. Yahweh takes that very seriously. And Yeshua has paid the penalty for our sins so that we may be productive on the earth and do what is necessary. Kol Nidre, the Aramaic formula for the dispensation of vows, is more than a thousand years old. It refers to vows assumed by an individual for himself alone, where no other persons or their interests are involved. Though the context makes it perfectly obvious that no vows or obligations towards others are implied, there have been many who were misled into believing that by means of this formula, all their vows and oaths are annulled. In the 11th century, Rabbi Meir ben Samuel, Rashi's son-in-law, changed the original wording of Kol Nidre so as to make it apply to the future instead of the past. That is, he vows one might not be able to fulfill during the next year. Kol Nidre Yesare Vacharome Vikonome Vikinuye Vikinuse Oh.
hone oh arat no bechon Oh, 